I was gifted this bronzer from Buxom. I really, no! Technical difficulties. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm going to jump right back into it. So there has been a lot of talk. Well, there always is a lot of talk when Fenty drops a new product. Um, and there definitely was a lot of talk when Fenty released their newest product, which was a bronzer. Um, so a lot of people kind of, there was a lot of hype around it. Um, namely because, as always, uh, because of the shade range. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to, one, review the product, but that's not the main reason why I'm here because it's like everyone's already reviewed the product, but kind of just give you just like, uh, like a little session tutorial class on just like the purpose of bronzer and a like demo and review of all of the bronzers that I have in my collection. Um, I'm doing this namely because there was a lot of talk about Fenty um, and like it revolutionizing bronzer and like people didn't have bronzers that were their shade. Um, and I'm not gonna knock that, maybe that was true for other people, but I know for me, that definitely wasn't true. <laughs> um, so I'm just basically gonna be showing you all of the bronzers that I have in my collection that have been working for me um, because there definitely are other brands that have been um, trying to diversify the shade ranges when it comes to bronzer. First and foremost, you might be thinking, what is a bronzer actually supposed to do? Um, what is the difference between a bronzer and a contour? Do dark skin women need to bronze? Um, I'll start off with my last question. You never need to do anything, but um, the purpose of a bronzer is to add warmth to your face and most most of the time all of the time basically from like the outside so you would apply a bronzer um, like the same places you would apply a contour but the two are different a contour is supposed to essentially like give a sort of definition bone structure um, it is supposed to um, be cool because it brings shadows to your face so like that like mm, snatched look that you would get that would be from a contour whereas a bronzer would be like all right let's soften it a bit let's pull it in and let's add some warmth a lot of people go for just bronzer alone without a contour i like to do a bronzer um when i'm going for like a softer not full beat look um, because the bronzer still is kind of the same concept as a contour in terms of where you apply it um, but not what it does. Bronzers are supposed to be deeper than your skin tone because they're supposed to add warmth and that's where black women run into the problem of can I find, or dark skin women I should say, can I find a bronzer that actually works for me? Um, there are a lot of brands out there that do not have bronzers that are deep enough for black women even though there are brands that do which just goes to show that it's possible and they exist. Um, but for right now it is still a struggle to find bronzers out there for women of color, women of my skin tone and deeper which is why today I'm bringing you a full like demo review of all of the bronzers in my collection and a swatch um, yeah let's get into it well actually I'm gonna list the bronzers and I'm looking at them in front of me I have bronzers from Anastasia Beverly Hills from Buxom Cosmetics from Bobbi Brown, from Beauty Bakery, obviously from Fenty, from NARS, and from Prime Beauty. So I'm gonna start off first and foremost with um, my Bobbi Brown concealer. And by concealer, I meant bronzer. Bronzer, there are no concealers in this video. And pardon me if a lot of these products look um, old. The reason they look this way is because I've had them in my collection for a while, but this is my Bobbi Bronzer, blah, 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 all the time, Bobbi Brown Bronzer, and it is bronzing powder in the shade Deep. Now the reason it looks so old and busted is because, surprise, surprise, I have had this for a minute, and the story behind this is summer of 2015, my like the first time I ever watched a Jackie Ina video, I wanted to get into makeup and the first video I watched from her, she used this bronzer and I was just like, great, I'm going to get it. Where it's the darkest shade and as you can see, um, I use it fairly often. I don't necessarily wanna put it on my face yet, so what I have on my face here is contour. I will just do a quick swatch, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? Not necessarily. Um, maybe I'll do it on my chest, maybe I'll do it 
Yeah, I'll do the swatches on my chest. So that is the Bobbi Brown Bronzer. Um, as you can see, it's slightly deeper or warmer than my skin tone. Nothing too crazy, nothing too like snatched, which is what a bronzer is supposed to do. So that is the Bobbi Brown Bronzer that I have. Next up, also another Jackie Ina made me buy this, um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Mahogany. This is the shade. And I'm gonna swatch it. Oh, it's nice and creamy when you like. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I need to do a better job. I'm not I'm new to this swatching thing. But so if you like you can immediately tell, and this is probably the reason I don't use it, it blends more with my skin tone. I don't think this bronzer is deep enough for what I would like, which is why I tend to gravitate towards the Bobbi Brown bronzer. Um, keep in mind, these are both, at least from the last time I checked from when I bought them, these are both the deepest shades that um, the bronzers come in for the respective brands. I was gifted this bronzer from Buxom. I really, no! technical difficulties. I was gifted this bronzer from Buxom and when I first looked at it, it did, definitely didn't look as deep as the other bronzers that I have. I also noticed that it was like very sparkly. It was one of those bronzers that was sparkly. Um, so, gonna swatch that as well. Yeah, and that is the Buxom bronzer, swatched even lighter than the both the Bobbi Brown and the Anastasia one, so it's definitely not something that I gravitate to often. There are only two shades of this bronzer from Buxom, and this is the deepest one, so that's something that, that's worth working on um, because brown girls need bronzer too. I have another bronzer from NARS, another Jackie Ina made me buy this right here. Give it a second go. Okay, so if I angle myself, shoulderline, shoulderline. If I angle myself, yeah, it, it doesn't look that deep. It actually looks more comparable to the Buxom bronzer, which is interesting, and I wasn't expecting that. And this is in the shade Casino, which I think might also be their deepest shade. So this is a no for me in terms of bronzers that I want to consistently go to. And a little switch up for you. Um, I have a whole entire bronzer palette from Beauty Bakery. It is the Coffee and Cocoa Bronzer Palette. Now what's unique about this bronzer is, maybe you can tell just by looking at it, is that these bronzers, or this bronzer specifically, is got a lot of shimmer. Because I think a lot of people who have reviewed this palette use it more so as a um, as an eyeshadow than as a bronzer. So I'm just gonna do a quick swatch. I know it is deep. It's definitely a deep shade. And there it goes right there. So yeah, as you can see, it's got a real like shimmer sheen to it, um, which is similar to the Buxom one in terms of what it's trying to give off, the shimmer, this like glittery, summery look. Um, but yeah, so it, it's great for shade not so much for actual texture, not what I would look for in terms of texture. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys a swatch from um, a Juvia's Place. It's a blush, but it's so deep that it probably is more of a contour, but I'll show it to you. This is the actual blush but obviously as you can tell, it's really deep. Let's watch that right here, yeah, whoa! So that is just like a beautiful color. Definitely would probably consider for a contour. Definitely would consider for a contour. So I saved the main events for last. Main event meaning the bronzer that I've been using the most lately that I love and the Fenty bronzer um, that everyone's already been reviewing. So if I have a little bit more space, I'm gonna talk about first Prime Beauty. I actually have two bronzers from Prime Beauty um, because they are, I believe it's a black woman owned brand, which is awesome, always love to support. And their bronzers just like caught my attention on like an Instagram page because they had a really, really deep bronzer. And so I couldn't choose between the two shades because I was like, oh, like 
I don't know what if it's not that deep um, but the medium shade one ended up being deep enough so I'm just gonna show you um, we have here Bronzeville look at that look at that so like that's even better than the Bobbi Brown the closest it comes to that comes to it is the Bobbi Brown swatch that I have over here but that's just so much better because it's richer it's way richer and it like it's visible on my skin um, and I also got chocolate Liddy, which is their deepest shade which is actually a beautifully deep shade but I'm going to swatch that on this shoulder right next to chocolate Liddy. look at that amazing it comes pretty close to actually the Juvia's place one so I think those are sort of comparable but just look at the gradient on my skin so we started off here with Bobbi Brown and then we kind of lost ourselves in translation with NARS, Anastasia, um, Buxom and then finally when we get to the black owned brands, surprise surprise, not really, we finally get something going on over here with Beauty Bakery, with Prime Beauty, with um, Juvia's Place. Now I'm finally going to swatch the new bronzer. So I have it in the shade Mocha Mommy. It looks, if I'm being honest with you, it looks pretty comparable to chocolate, not chocolate Liddy, to Bronzeville from the Prime Beauty. And I am going to, if I have space, I might swatch it up top along my collarbone. Swatch it along my collarbone and do it right here. Whoop, that wasn't actually helpful, my bad. I'm gonna swatch it, actually I'll swatch it right here interesting very interesting so it shows it's a little more red it looks a lot like a little bit more red than chocolate than Bronzeville but it's kind of similar now to be very honest with you it's really hard to tell what a bronzer looks like when it's swatched because you're never gonna um, swipe it onto your skin this like in a concentrated way so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer right now which is the Prime Beauty um, Bronzeville I'm gonna show you how I apply bronzer on one side and then I'm gonna use Fenty Mocha Mommy on the other side Great, so on my left, I have Bronzeville from Prime Beauty, and on my right, I have um, Mocha Mommy from Fenty. So, what I do notice and what I will say is this bronzer, one, I like it. I do like it, it is deep. Um, is it as deep as our friend Chocolate Liddy over here and I think Mocha Mommy might be the deepest shade? No. So Prime Beauty, if you're looking, like if you're even deeper, if you're darker than me, I would still hit up Prime Beauty for a really, really good bronzer. Um, I will say I like this because it is warmer. It gives me warmth which is what a bronzer is supposed to do. Um, so will I be using the Fenty bronzer more often? Most likely. Um, I think I'll be using Prime Beauty as a way to set my contour, um, and I'll be using the Fenty one as just like a bronzer that I want to like be diffused on my face. Also, we can acknowledge that I use different brushes for them, so the brush that I use on this side was a brush that seemed like it was better for setting contour and being a really precise um, application, whereas the Fenty one, 
was a bigger brush that would like diffuse it and give a more like overall bronzy glow whatever look that you're looking for thank you so much for watching if you liked what you saw please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go give it a thumbs up leave a comment whatever and anything that you so choose i would really really appreciate it thanks so much again bye